This video is a brief overview of our upcoming webinar on how to use the results of your project risk analysis. As a review, to perform quantitative project risk analysis, you need two sources of information, project risk register and a project schedule with uncertainties. Risks are assigned to the schedule with probabilities and impacts, and then a Monte Carlo simulation is run. The results of the analysis are a statistical distribution of project cost, finish time, and other project parameters, as well as ranking risks in the risk register. After running the Monte Carlo project risk analysis, there are three main outputs. The statistical analysis of cost and schedule. This is provided in the form of histograms or probability charts and cumulative probability plots or S-curves. The histogram provides information on the probability of, a, of a certain outcomes. The cumulative probability provides confidence levels on how likely it is to meet specific objectives. And in addition, the statistical analysis provides values for mean, standard deviation, variance, and other metrics. Sensitivity analysis or tornado charts indicates which activity or risk parameters has the most potential to impact a project schedule. And finally, risk ranking. Risks are ranked by their potential impact on a project schedule or cost. Optimizing risk should be the first step after your analysis. The risk register can be sorted based on pre-mitigated or unmanaged risk scores. Highest priority risk should be managed first. If you're going to mitigate a risk, mitigation plans can be plotted on a mitigation waterfall chart. This includes expected changes to probability or impact, date of completion, cost, owner, etc. The expected changes to the risk are visualized in both the waterfall chart and the pre and post mitigated risk cubes. The post mitigated risk score is then presented in the risk register. Finally, not shown here, the mitigation plans with associated activities and costs need to be added to the schedule. Risk assignments are then modified to the post mitigated status. The next step is to optimize your plan. Further optimization of the schedule can be performed using sensitivity analysis. There are two main visualizations that should guide these efforts, sensitivity and crucial tasks. The sensitivity analysis for cost and finish time and other project parameters show which activity or cost has the most impact on the project parameter. So we look at the finish time of an activities, how much is that impacting the finish time of the project or the cost of an activity, how much is that impacting the cost of a project. The crucial task view presents similar type of information as a Gantt chart view. We can see how this sensitivity ranking of an activity for cost and schedule corresponds with how it is displayed in the crucial task view. Finally, even after mitigation and optimization, what remains is unmanaged or residual risk. To account for this, we run a final simulation to generate a risk adjusted cost contingency and schedule margin based on the project risk tolerance. These are the buffers that will protect your project delivery dates and budget in case risks do materialize during project execution. We can set up our simulation outputs to these risk tolerances. They can be displayed both in visualizations or tables at the project or activity level. Recommended practice is that the schedule margin and cost contingency is inserted back in the management baselines at the delivery level and can be measured against actuals during execution. If you are interested in attending the webinar, please visit our site and look for our webinar announcement.